Safari Download Plugin is a application that allows you to download applications from the web. Uh, those that uh, Apple wouldn't normally allow you to do. And the program adds an icon if you look up to the right, I'm sorry, to the left of the address bar, the URL line, you see a little download icon. Right now there's no downloads here. Uh, and it works simply this way. If you go to a website that has a file that you can download, say my old Palm Oil podcast from a few years back, uh, there's a lot of download icon here available. And when I click that, it gives me some options. Do I want to download? Do I want to download to a particular location? Or do I simply want to view it? Because it's a podcast, a MP3 file, I can just listen to it. So we'll say download to and it's given us a download the directory and the media directory by default but you can see I can I can move around and put it wherever I want to put it okay but we'll just leave it here and we'll hit save once you hit save a uh, number one shows that there's one download uh, downloading right now you can download more than one file at any given time but click on that icon see the status of this now this is a rather large uh, file, so I'm not going to download it completely. But you see, with this this uh, program, you can download programs that you normally wouldn't be able to download through your iPad. iFile is a iFile is an application that allows you to uh, you know manage your the OS level the file level of your iPad and for most people you wouldn't even have a need for this but if you're using like the download uh, add-in for Safari that I mentioned in the previous video uh, you can or other applications that allow you to download things once you're iPad is jailbroken, you can uh, you know, manipulate those files or go to a file to play them or uh, to delete them, to move them from one directory to another. It's a file management system for the iPad. Uh, and so the way it works is, I'm not sure where I have it here, so I'll just search for it. And there's two different, I, there's iFile and iFiles. I'm talking about iFile. And this is a shareware application, so uh, you can uh, register it at uh, any time you feel it is a worthwhile app. I'll say later for that. And if I go to my downloads, uh, you see I can I can move around within this level of this. Uh, operating system and find the particular file that I am uh, interesting in, in, interested in working with. Okay. So I downloaded this file previously. It's a zip file. I can unzip it and see what the actual file is. It's a MB uh, a M4V file, I can extract that from it, which I'll do here. Now I'm done. Now you see the file there is available as the movie file. I can then delete the zip file that it, that it contained it, and now I can choose to do what I want to do with this file. Do I want to store it? Do I want to play it? I'll say play the video file. And now is actually um, playing out to my screen because I have this uh, loaded to my uh, display out program. Okay, so again, that's the video file. I have it. I download it from the website, and I can decide what I'm going to do with the file with iFile.
Once I'm done with it, I can delete this file and move on. The next application is called Display Out. Display Out allows you to display each and everything that you have on your iPad to a monitor or to a, project, a projector, to an external source. Uh, it requires a $30 add-on. So right now I'm looking at the monitor. This is a monitor. She has a Philips flat screen TV. This is my actual iPad. And so I have this adapter here that is plugged into um, zoom that back. Plugged into my a standard video cable. It plugs in the iPad, the other end to a monitor cable or projector cable, and now whatever is on your iPad screen will get projected to your monitor. Uh, so again, by default, Apple only allows certain applications to uh, be projected to a monitor. Display out lets you display out every single thing that you want to uh, display. And so you control what it is that you see, whether you're a teacher, instructor, or a hobbyist, uh, whether you want to uh, view uh, your applications on a bigger screen, whether it is your 50-inch um, TV in the living room, or if it's, you know, in this case, a 21-inch monitor, uh, you get to control what, what it is you display out of your device. Now, there are some settings that you can change to uh, tweak it and things like that. Uh, it also has a option where you can uh, with the SB settings application so in this case Netflix is not displaying out because they already have a display out function so I'm actually going to turn off the display out function and let Netflix do its own thing so you have to, you, know, you, you can turn that on and off at will, and it makes it a whole lot easier. Like in this case, I didn't have to exit the Netflix program because I have the uh, SBS settings application where I can just do it without exiting. So again, it's called Display Out. It lets you display out everything that you have on your screen. And since I just exit that, I'll turn display back, display out back on, and it'll start displaying what I have on my screen, regardless of whether uh, Apple, you know, wanted me to be able to do that function or not. Okay. There you go. And that's one ninety nine available in. Go check it out. App Backup is an application that allows you to uh, back up the list of what city apps that you have stored on your device, so that after. Uh, if you have to restore and then re jailbreak it, or whatever the case is, once you get it back, uh, you don't have to try and remember all of the, the great apps that you had installed. You simply back it up and then restore it onto your new device. Uh, so it works uh, this way if we find the app. 
Okay, let's try it again. Refine app backup. There's only one or two options that you can do. Let's just zoom that in. One or two options that you can do, you either back up or you restore. Uh, I just added some recent uh, files, so I'll hit the backup. It'll back up. And when you uh, sync your computer, it stores that, that information offline onto your PC as well. Uh, and then when you're ready to restore at some point in time, you click the restore button and all your apps are loaded back on for you. It's called App Backup. Great for uh, ensuring that when if you have to restore for whatever reason uh, to an unbroken state, once you jailbreak your device again, you can download and load those applications back uh, rather quickly.